Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Try to do one good video a week for you guys to keep up with everything. This video might be a little bit delayed. Uh, it's March 2020, so by the time you see this, it might be uh, December 2020 or even January 2021. It takes us a while to get things uploaded. We've got so many videos. Um, this one's going to be about Tesla. Um, it's a level 3 charger versus the Volvo Hybrid at a level 2 or 1 charger. Um, just real quickly on this, we ran this down stairs. Uh, the wall was full, as you can see, with a bunch of uh, one knot and a couple other six gauge and other wires coming down. So we kind of poked around in there and felt like we would hit wires and they didn't really want to cut the whole wall open. So I just brought this up, cut this in and mudded it. This is a whole house search protector by Eaton and um, I had to get that one in and mounted so they can see the green lights and then that's the kiln downstairs and that's going to be a I think about a 10 kW kiln this right here is going to be for the level 2 charger we pipe that all the way around nice little offset there's some HVAC uh, line outside there but twisted that cut it brought it down that's going to take a uh, NEMA 650, or a uh, 14 NEMA 650, I believe. Anyways, it's a range plug, 50 amp four wire, ground up. So that'll plug into here. We'll get that wired in tonight. Put a mud ring on that. Okay. This is the new juice box design. It's got a sweep here. It does up to 40 amps, but it's going to be a 50 amp wire job. Okay, this unplugs, this untwist here for the lock, and you pop this off. Okay, that's a little tricky to get popped off and on. Make sure your plate is like this, offset out. That instruction is horrible. This is a brand new juice box design. Personally, like the other juice box design, but I think they went with that so no one will steal it. And this is outdoor rated, by the way, too. I don't like putting my equipment outside at all, but you can do it. I have with the Tesla before. This is the Tesla Level 3 charger. I call it the capsule or the alien ship, mothership. In here, it talks about where you're going to go up to how many amps d is up to 100 amp i wore it up to 70 i probably could go up to 80 right because i put number four thw and dash two rating for 90 degrees celsius 310.15b column but uh i put number four so i probably go up to 80 amp no problem but i just put a 70 because he feels that he's not going to charge more than that and they go in town pretty much all the time but if they want to up it, I could pop in an 80 amp and be okay. Number four, if I go to 90 or 100 amp, you're going to have to use a number two cable. Now you're not piping a one inch. Uh, you're probably going to be piping an inch and a quarter with a Chicago bender or an inch and a half. Or we do a TC number two cable, tray cable, which is rated with four wires. And um, it's rated to be in the wall, outside the wall, and flex put on it. I do that a lot. You've seen my other videos. But that's like an inch and a quarter FMC to protect it. Um, it is ex extra hard duty, but it's not allowed to be exposed to physical damage below eight foot like any other NM cable. I think that's Article 362. Don't mark me on that, but it is a TC tray cable. It's copper stranded conductor too. So this was short, so I told him, let's just do the number four. I did put right over here an FMC cable on the wall. This is why I drilled out a six inch hole, cut the stud, drilled up and through, put a 90 degree connector bolted that, cocked it, put it on. And uh, yeah, this basically has one screw, this cover pops off, then there's six other screws, pop off, then you can adjust. Um, <coughs> this uh, right here, I had to drill through the panel, put a bushing, because I had to move a couple small things over to here. This is a 100 amp panel, 
with aluminum fed off of here, but this is 4 aught aluminum 200 amp. So I wanted my kiln to come through and down to here, 50 amp, and I want my Tesla box here on this panel. This 100 amp's already running some small ACs and one medium AC, and then it'll be doing my level two charger, but they'll be charging at night. So we will be competing with air conditioning at night with um, a charging a vehicle. The rest of these items might be a dryer. They're gonna do that at night, but all these other branch circuit breakers, so not a big deal. This is, um, one of these is the new mini split. I doubt they'll run that when they're not in the living room and they're in the bed. So balance your loads is my point. This panel was already here. I did cock around the panel and filled in my holes because you have to for atmosphere, different temperature rating, also wind and air coming in. That's an energy code in four columns, but also for electrical, it talks about an article 300 on filling your holes. You do not have to worry about the air between this panel. That's not a big deal. You're not in explosion proof. You do put your plastic bushings on. I do on my items here, my surge, and here, and here. Any wire number four and larger, you have to have a plastic bushing. The other ones you do not, but I did anyways. Um, this was a chore to drill. Nail popped out, so I had to kind of smooth that out, put some mud. But yeah, that's about the best I know how to mud. If that looks bad to you online, then hey, that's better than what most electricians do. So a lot of you guys don't think I do mudding and caulking and piping. There you go. But yeah, so we ended up putting in a 10KW kiln, a whole house surge protector rated up to 108,000 ASC fault current rating on the SSSR. And then we did um, a level two, six gauge wire, 40 amp, but 50 amp rated wire on that level two juice box for that hybrid Volvo right there. Hey, if any of you electric companies are watching me, please start putting the connection on the front nose. Most people don't like back in their car in a garage, and it is a pain when it's back here. As you can see, the threshold of walking out of here and they're going to park your Tesla, and it plugs right here. And if they decided to back it in, guess what? Now level three charger. You got to pipe an inch and a quarter all the way over. Um, I try to convince people, if you get the Tesla box, stay close to the panel. It's cheaper. If you don't, you just give out some money. Above here, this is all framed. Over there, there's a little attic space. Um, I don't like quoting a lot of prices online or on YouTube because I get hammered. But um, we're relatively a good price compared to things I've heard when you're trying to go through the big people that drive around and drop off parts. And I won't mention their name. But... There's third party that like to try to use us to put in their stuff. And I talked to them last year and boy, man, you want to talk about wanting us to charge way too much. Um, I'd rather be around in my town for the next 50 years than charge too much on a job. But it, honestly, it is fairly competitive. But, you know, below here, this is your best bet if you can go with a level two charger and just hang it here and plug it in. That's the best way to go on anything. But if your panel's not in the garage or it's back to back, you could drill through the panel, put an outlet out here. Um, we do price this by liminary foot to pipe it. Uh, they were very helpful, so they helped on the price. All of this was full of items. So as you can see, they moved it all over to Third Bay and they're gonna organize it. But that really does help because when you take a picture of it or I look at the job, I bid it based on how I see it because nobody likes to move their stuff. But they did help us out on that. So anyways, yeah, guys, hopefully that'll help you out on that. Uh, remember, yeah, if you cannot be putting in a whole bunch of items like we just put on without a 200-amp service like that, that's very important. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. Have a good one.